Theater Trust is now Hennepin Arts. The organization announced a new name change this morning, which aims to more accurately reflect their work and community impact. Lauren and Drago is live on Hennepin Avenue in downtown Minneapolis with more this morning. Hi, Lauren. Chris and Megan, there you see it. It is a new era for theater on Hennepin Avenue here in downtown Minneapolis. That's the marquee of Stage Theater, one of many historic stages here in downtown Minneapolis. And hundreds of thousands of theater goers visited these stages last year. Millions have visited them over the years. If you've been around Minnesota for a while, you probably know just how historic the theaters are here on this street. They've been around since 1908 when a theater called The Miles was built. It was a vaudeville theater. It later became Old Century Theater, and it sat about 2,000 people. Many of theaters have opened and closed over the years. Today, we have Stage, we have Pantages, we have the Orpheum, obviously, and Dudley Riggs Theater, now under the name Hennepin Arts. So to talk a little bit more about it, I want to bring in the CEO of Hennepin Arts, Todd. Uh, good good morning. morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for chatting. Tell me a little bit about the name. What an exciting day for you guys. Why now for the name change? I, I'll tell you, like, Hennepin Theater Trust is a nonprofit organization that presents arts here in uh, downtown Minneapolis, but also across the state. We have a reach through schools and our showcase spotlight program. Uh, we also have, of course, Broadway on Hennepin presented by Bank of America. So our impact is just spreading throughout the community. And while we're very fond of our heritage being H H Hennepin Theater Trust, mm -hmm. we want to open up the doors for the future and become Hennepin Arts where we're so much more. We are more inclusive, have more touch points, and more people feel a part of Hennepin Avenue, but also we can take Hennepin Avenue's vibrancy throughout the state. 100%. Yeah. And you, you talked about it, just how many people are impacted by the theater that goes on on that street. We learned a little bit this morning about the economic impact right. that you guys have had on the city of Minneapolis. Tell me a little bit about that. It's kind of jaw-dropping just how many people have seen shows here. And that's just our Broadway series. So yeah. our Broadway series uh, has a series of shows, and they were great last year. We had Hamilton mm -hmm. and MJ the Musical, and the estimated economic impact is $68 million on the local economy and throughout the state. And we're going to see more of that in the future. Our next season is just as bold, just as bright, uh, and we're taking brave steps to uh, to present shows that aren't happening in other places. For example, Purple Rain the Musical will launch its world premiere here at the State Theater before it goes to Broadway in New York. And what so, better place to do that's that? That's right. It's Minnesota's own. And, and so uh, we're really thrilled about welcoming uh, the world here for that show. Oh my gosh, and yeah. I can't wait. And, and behind me, Back to the Future, the musical is coming next. Back to the Future. We thought this would be a great day to launch our brand because Back to the Future goes on sale to the public for single tickets mm -hmm. uh, for the September performances of two weeks. And it's a fun and exciting musical. But you know, when you think of Back to the Future, with our new name, we're, we're paying homage to our past, but looking towards our bright future and our, our brave, bold, and uh, great opportunity we have ahead. Can I ask you, Todd, yeah. what's your favorite show you've seen down here? I know you're new. You've had this this position for uh, not even a year, come Correct. from Cincinnati, but you've had nine months under your belt. What have you seen that you've loved down here? So I'm going to reserve giving an answer <laughs> until after we launch Purple Rain, the musical, because being a, a new Minnesotan, my heart has always been a Prince fan, but my, I want my heart to love that show as well and make it be my favorite. Well, so. you're in the right place, I am, Todd. absolutely. Oh, yeah. my gosh, so nice to talk to you Likewise. today. Thank, Thank you so you. much Thanks for having, for having me. I appreciate it. Good luck it. with everything. Guys, you. you heard it. A lot of great shows coming next season to look forward to here on Hennepin Avenue, including Back to the Future, the musical. If you saw some Marty McFly's behind me, maybe a DeLorean, we're going to go check out what's happening across the street in just a little bit.